All right, guys, so it's Ricky Repairs back at again. Today, we're going to do a cooling flush on this 2012 2.5 Ford Fusion. All right, let's go ahead and check out the coolant. You can see, it looks dirty. So, the color is supposed to be orange. Let's see, it looks a bit dirty. All right, first thing you want to do is run the car warm it up a little bit to normal temperature remove the cap let's go ahead and drain the coolant the drain plug for the coolant is going to be right here let me show you on the top it's that red little cap right there that one it's going to be on the driver's side just go ahead and remove it and drain pan underneath just gonna get that okay so you could get it from the top right here without getting underneath the car just grab some pliers and go ahead and loosen it up you do have to remove the cap as you can see it's coming off Every drain pan underneath. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Or just go ahead and loosen it. See more. So yeah, just remove your cap from your reservoir cap. Just gonna wait for that to drain all the way. As you can see the reservoir, it's going down. All right, so there you have it. So there's no need to get underneath the car. You can get to the drain pan, drain plug on top right here. All right, now we just have to wait for that to drain all the way. All right, so after that, let's go ahead and tighten our drain plug. Let's go ahead and tighten it back on. All right, so after that, you want to top off your coolant. Let's see right here. All right, just gonna top it off. All right, so let's go ahead and add the coolant. So on this type of car, it gives you two options, either the gold coolant or the orange coolant. So according to the owner's manual, the recommendation is go ahead and use the coolant whichever was originally equipped with your car so let's say if it was orange go ahead and use the orange coolant if it was gold go ahead and use the gold one so at first i didn't catch this it says right there orange coolant so hopefully yours has that little sticker Sometimes they'll have in the radiator cap. So yeah, go ahead and use the original one. Alright, does that look worse to you? Not really. Luckily the engine never overheated. We never had cooling system problems. But luckily we did the cooling flush. Alright, so you want to close the cap. And move over the coolant. So you start flowing. To the cooling system. Alright, so once you close the cap, make sure you keep an eye on your cooling system. Your temperature. 
make sure it stays right there after that you'll notice that the coolant will go low so just go ahead and top it off add more all right let's go ahead and check this out all right as you see it's really low so go ahead and open that just top it off Just gonna top it off. All right, so you'll want to go ahead and so you will feel some air coming out once you remove it. Don't worry about it; it's just air in your system, in your cooling system. So yeah, just gonna let it out. Go ahead and top off your coolant. Same thing. Go ahead and close it. Go ahead and start your car again. All right, so. Yeah, go ahead and top off your coolant, let it cool down. Once your engine cooled down, this is the place where you want to bleed your cooling system. This little part right here, this little valve, just go ahead and turn it to the left. All right. So yeah, just go ahead and wait it to cool down. We'll bleed it out and top off our coolant. All right, so you do want to re remove the air in your cooling system. So here it is. In order to bleed it out. So just turn it to the left. In order to get the air out of the system. All right, let's go and do that now. So you remove that. You also want to remove the cap right here. Just gonna remove it slowly. So you see, we didn't have too much in our air system. All right, just go ahead and close this little cap right here. All we have to do is turn it back to the right. All right, if you want to mark it down to make sure you get it in the right size so you can see these little parts on the top right here so there was a little mark right here top right here let's go to marker line all right so there you have it now it's close all right it's going to close our reservoir all right so you can see that's when it's cold filled right here Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. Top off our coolant. And that should be it. Alright, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.